Hey there everyone, it's Braden here for gshelper.com and today I'm going to show you how to set up RevMob in your game solid game. I've done a chart boost video tutorial in the past and so I thought I'd go ahead and do another ad service that we have available in game solid right now and that is RevMob. And RevMob is another really good service that we can use for iOS and Android um, and I think we just got AdMob in the nightly build so expect a tutorial on that when that's available in the stable build. Alright, so let's go ahead and get started. I don't expect this video to be long. Uh, first off, you need to go to the RevMob Mobile Ad Network website. It's RevMobMobileAdNetwork.com. <clears throat> and this is what the screen is going to look like once you arrive at that site. And you need to go ahead and create a site, uh, create a username, I'm sorry, and you fill out your first name, last name, the usual. And once you go ahead and sign in, it'll bring you to a page that looks something like this. and because you won't have any apps um, created yet, you probably won't see anything on this screen. Um, but this is kind of my setup right now. I only use RevMob for uh, my Android apps, and I only have two out on Android right now. And so um, I don't use AdMob a lot. I do use, I do use Chart Boost as well. Um, but what you're going to want to do is this is the dashboard, and you can see all of your earnings and how much you've made and boot ups and installs and everything like that on this page here. Now if you go to the monetization tab, this is where you're going to see the apps and how much they've made and you can also add apps here. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at the bottom here and we can see we have a report button, an add iOS app button, an Android button, Amazon button, and mobile website button. So it depends on what you want to put um, RevMob in. If you're doing an iOS app, you're going to, going to want to go ahead and click the Add iOS App button. If you have an Android app, you're going to want to go ahead and click the Add Android App button and Amazon as well. So let's just go ahead and do an iOS app really quick. The media name, this is the scene it's going to take you to. And you just name the app. So we can call this Test App. I've already done a test app for when I set up RevMob initially, but uh, we, you can go ahead and name it. You can put the name of your app in here. You don't need to worry about any of this um, unless you're creating, I think it's a, um, unless you want to like advertise your game on RevMob, um, but you just want to have advertisements come in and fill up so you can get paid. So you don't need to worry about any of this. <clears throat> testing mode, this is kind of important. Um, I've always left testing mode off because I've always just gone ahead and published with RevMob. Uh, if you wanted to test it on, you know, an ad hoc build, then I think you would do turn on with ads. Um, and then you'll be able to see the ads pop up on your ad hoc, but um, be sure to come back and turn it off once you're ready to publish. So I'm going to just go ahead and leave it off for right now, and we'll click the add button. And it'll give us a pop-up saying the media was created. And you can see our new app right here, and you can see that it's uh, it has a little apple next to it, so we can tell that's an iOS app. Uh, really, the only thing we need to worry about here right now is the media ID, which needs to be copied into your game solid publishing uh, page. So uh, here's the media ID for this specific app, and we can tap this little button here, and it'll copy it to our clipboard. And I've already gone ahead and opened up a publishing tab here. This is just my first game, Penguin Pounce, and um, since I already have it set up and everything, this is the page it's going to take you to once you sign in and you select which app you want to create or update. And uh, what we need to do first is go into the Services tab, and you'll see we have a RevMob tab. And you're going to paste the media ID into the appropriate field. So if you have an iOS Universal app, you're going to paste the uh, media ID here. Or if you just have an iPhone app and it's not universal, you would just paste it here. So these three fields are all for iOS, so you kind of have to figure out <clears throat> what your app is doing. Is it universal? Is it just for iPad? Or is it just for iPhone? If you have an Android app, like on the Google Play Store, then you paste it here on the Android field. And if you have an Amazon app for the Kindle, then you'd post it, uh, paste it here. But let's go ahead and say this is a universal app. So I'll go ahead and paste that in here, and we'll get a nice little saved icon here. And now we can close this tab and go into the platforms. And since this is a iOS game, we'll go into the iOS Universal. And we can scroll down and make sure we tap some of these uh, RevMob boxes. So let's say we wanted to have a startup ad and interstitial. 
So there we go. We have these two rev mob boxes checked. And when you go ahead and generate and sign and upload to the Google Play Store or the Apple Store or the Amazon Store, you should start seeing some ads pop up and revenue flowing in. So there we go, guys. It was really simple, and I hope you were able to follow along. Feel free to pause, go back, and watch it if you need to again. And I think I'm going to go ahead and create a written tutorial on the forums. Not sure about that yet because we have gotten emails and messages saying that people enjoy uh, written tutorials as well in detail so that way they can go at their own pace and they don't have to rewind the video and everything like that. So expect that too. And uh, if you haven't seen our chart boost video, I'll post that link in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video.